Hi there, I'm Sam from solar.com and today we're going to talk about going solar in the great state of New Jersey. Now solar energy probably isn't the first thing you think about when you think of New Jersey, but between rising utility costs and two of the best solar incentives in the entire country, going solar in the Garden State can be an absolute game changer for your energy costs. So let's get right after it. So first off, just to prove that I'm not full of crap, let's establish that New Jersey is in fact one of the top states for solar. Now in 2021, New Jersey ranked first for most solar panels per square mile of any state in the nation. It also had the most planned community solar projects for low and moderate income households. Then in 2022, it ranked eighth in the total solar capacity installed with enough solar power to cover 700,000 homes. More importantly, it ranked two spots ahead of New York that year. And Newark consistently ranks among the top 20 shining cities for solar with around 112 watts of capacity per person. So New Jersey is clearly one of the friendliest states for solar panels, and that's largely due to incentives. Now for homeowners, there's five incentives to keep an eye on that can substantially reduce the cost of a solar system and thereby increase the savings that that system provides. Now, the first incentive to be aware of is our old friend, the 30% federal solar tax credit. Now this is available everywhere, and I'm not gonna go too far into detail because I covered it pretty heavily in this video. But here's the basics. Let's say you buy a $25,000 solar system. You then qualify for a tax credit worth 30% of the cost. So for $25,000, that'd be a $7,500 tax credit. Once you claim that on your federal income tax return, it effectively reduces the cost of the system to $17,500. Now the kicker with the federal tax credit is that it's a non-refundable tax credit that can only be used to reduce your tax liability. And in plain English, that means that it's not just a check that comes in the mail when you go solar. It's something you have to claim on your taxes and that can increase the amount of refund you have. So my advice is to go see a licensed tax advisor early in the solar process to come up with a battle plan for claiming this tax credit. All right, so now let's move on to perhaps the most valuable solar incentive in the entire country. And that's New Jersey's successor solar incentive program known as SUSE. Now, a little trigger warning. This next section contains an absurd amount of acronyms and it gets a little dense, but I'm serious. This is one of the best solar incentives in the entire country. So it's worth sticking around and let's take it step by step to see how it works. Under SUSE, solar owners earn one solar renewable energy certificate known as an SREC2 for every 1000 kilowatt hours that their system produces over 15 years. Now these certificates or SRECs can be sold on marketplaces for cash, just like stocks. For systems installed after March 13, 2023, each SREC 2 is worth $85. And that rate is locked in for the 15 year duration of the program. So let's say you install a solar system that produces 8,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year, which is pretty average for the New Jersey area. Now that means you would earn eight SREC 2s every year and at $85 each, they'd be worth $680 per year. Now are you ready for the fun part? Cause here it comes. Now at $680 a year for 15 years, you can essentially reduce the cost of your system by $10,200 through the SUSE program. And better yet, you can combine your SREC 2 earnings with the 30% tax credit to really take a bite out of the cost of your solar system. So let's say you buy a six and a half kilowatt solar system for $30,000. Honestly, that's a little on the high end, but don't worry, we're in New Jersey here. So first, the solar tax credit would be worth $9,000, reducing the cost of the system to $21,000. Next, the earnings from the SUSE program by selling those SREC 2s would be worth $680 per year. And over 15 years, that adds up to $10,200. Here's how that looks over 25 years. The solar tax credit kicks in when you get your tax refund for the year you bought the system. 
and the SUSE program continues to lower the cost of your system over 15 years of selling those SREC 2s. When it's all said and done, you've paid less than $11,000 for a $30,000 solar system, and you've saved enough on electricity costs to buy 10 season ticket packages to the Jets or to put your kid through Princeton. Whatever you wanna do with the savings is totally up to you. Now we've already applied the two biggest solar incentives in the entire country to this system, and we're not even done yet because New Jersey has two more tax incentives for solar systems. First, there's a sales tax exemption. So that's 6.625% sales tax on a $30,000 system. Well, we don't even have to do the math on it because you're not gonna pay it anyway. And second, <clears throat> there's a property tax exemption for solar systems. So it's well documented that solar systems increase the value of your home, but with this property tax exemption, you won't pay additional property tax on that added value by the solar system. So if you think about it, that's pretty cool. You can increase the value of what's probably your biggest investment without paying additional tax on it. Now it's worth noting that you have to apply for this property tax exemption through your local tax assessor using what's known as a CRES form. So if solar is something you're gonna do down the road, make sure to keep an eye on that form uh, and get that tax benefit. Now, last but not least, New Jersey has a strong statewide net metering policy and all four major utilities in the state offer net metering. Now, net metering is a billing structure that allows solar owners to earn credit for the excess solar production that they push onto the grid and they can use that credit to offset the cost of electricity that they pull off the grid when their panels aren't producing. Now it's worth noting here that there are efforts across the United States to weaken and remove net metering altogether, including in New York and California. And in California, the policy that replaced net metering reduced the value of solar exports by around 75%. So the moral of the story is that net metering probably won't be around forever and it's worth jumping on it while it's around. Now, solar incentives are great and they can clearly take a big chunk out of the cost of going solar, but they're only one piece of the puzzle when it comes to solar savings. Now the other key ingredient is the rising cost of grid electricity. In New Jersey, the average electricity price is around 17 cents per kilowatt hour, which is the 15th highest of any state in the nation. Now, it's not incredibly high relative to other states in the East Coast. However, it's higher than average and it's rising. In fact, all four major utilities in New Jersey are increasing the residential electricity rates between 3 and 7% in 2023. And if you think that's an exception to the norm, think again. Now, this chart shows the average price of electricity in the U.S. since 1979. As you can see, it's a steady march upward and utility rates rising over time are about as certain as death and taxes. Over just the last 25 years, the average utility rate in the US has gone up 83%. If we took that same rate of energy inflation over the next 25 years, that's the warranted life of a solar system, your rate, average rate in New Jersey would increase from 17 cents per kilowatt hour to over 31 cents per kilowatt hour and it would average around 24 cents during that time frame. Home solar acts as a hedge against energy inflation by shielding you from rising utility rates. You can picture going solar like buying that big three pound can of coffee at Costco for $25, instead of buying 100 individual cups of coffee at Starbucks for $3 each. Now it'll take nine cups to recoup your investment but that bulk can of coffee is a way better deal in the long run. Plus, when Starbucks raises the price of unicorn drool latte or whatever it is, you can sit back and laugh instead of stressing out about rising cost of living. Now the same concept applies to your essential electricity costs, just on a much larger scale. So let's take a little peek into the future. This chart shows three ways of purchasing 8,000 kilowatt hours of electricity per year for the next 25 years. If you continue with the status quo, you can expect to pay north of $70,000 for electricity over the next 25 years, assuming utility rates rise at a modest rate of 3% per year. If you go solar with a 20 year loan, 
collect the 30% tax credit, and enroll in SUSE, you can expect your loan payments to be lower than your average utility bill, which means savings on day one. The kicker is you'll have less lifetime savings than the cash purchase of solar due to the interest payments. Now, if you do pay cash for solar and claim the tax credit and enroll in SUSE, you can achieve the lowest possible, possible electricity payments and save around $60,000 over 25 year warranty life of your system. However, it does take around seven years to break even. Now it's worth noting that energy cost savings isn't the only benefit of going solar. It's just the one that makes it a no brainer. In fact, it wasn't that long ago that many homeowners were going solar, knowing full well that they weren't gonna save any money on their system. And they did it simply because they wanted to reduce their carbon footprint or just be an early adopter to a new technology. Now today, and especially in New Jersey, solar owners have the best of all worlds. Going solar can substantially reduce your energy costs. It can add tax-free property value to your home. It can drastically reduce your carbon footprint, reduce local pollution, generally clean up the local electricity grid. It also gives you unprecedented control over your essential electricity costs, which is just something you won't get from a utility provider. And the best part is it doesn't matter if your primary motivation is cost savings, climate change, increasing home value, whatever it is. Solar does all those things at once regardless. Now, whatever your motivation is for going solar, there are three keys for a successful and long lasting solar installation that will accomplish those goals. The first key is simply to go solar as soon as possible. Now, I know that sounds like a sales pitch, but as we just saw, the cost of energy is rising constantly. And every year you put off a solar installation is another year paying way too much for electricity. And on that same note, solar incentives are designed to decline over time to compensate for the, the falling cost of solar panels. For example, the SUSE incentive was $90 just earlier this year, and it's already fallen to $85. And it's probably gonna continue to fall each year as the cost of solar goes down. Now with that in mind, the second key is to claim as many incentives as possible. Now this can take some research, but you're off to a great start by watching this video. Now the next step is finding out how to enroll in those programs and what hoops you need to jump through in order to claim those incentives. It takes a little legwork, but as we saw, it can be well worth it. Finally, the third key is to get multiple quotes from reputable installers in your area. Now in New Jersey, with the incentives available, the key isn't always to find the lowest price for your solar installation, but to find the best installer that's gonna do quality work and that's gonna be around for 25 years to honor their warranties. Now again, this can take some legwork. It takes time to research and look up reviews and vet installers yourself. Then you're making appointments, inviting people into your home. Then you're designing three different systems and getting quotes for each one. And it can take several weeks just to get multiple quotes in your hands. But solar.com makes this part easy. On our marketplace, you team up with an energy advisor to design a system and generate dozens of quotes from vetted local installers in New Jersey. Now this not only simplifies the process of getting multiple quotes, but it fosters healthy competition, which drives down the price for your project. Use the link in the comments below to visit solar.com where you can learn more about solar in the Learning Center, or you can connect with an energy advisor to get the solar process going. I'm Sam from solar.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.